I think time is going to remember yeah, yeah. January 6th differently. Yeah. Right now, people are still the heathen. There's two things. Media needs st stuff to fill. I mean, if right. you watch TV on January 6th, it was like, January 6th, 24-7. Yeah. As time goes on, right. uh -huh. it's going to be less. Yeah. And as... as, as um, so I think I think also people are going to lose yeah. their, their office, the jobs. I the people that were there are going to lose their jobs. So it's not going to mean anything if you weren't even there. And you I know. Don't even we, need, care. we need like a war to break up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's <laughs> right. No. Okay, I, 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 I thank you for your time. Oh, absolutely. Listen, I really, um, I, I know you're not the bad guy. I mean, <laughs> if there is, me. I haven't found the bad guy yet. But if there is, I know well, you're not the, the bad guy. guy, guy, guy. Yeah. I mean, he's like a stereotypical bad guy. But I, the, the thing is, why I asked you the question of like, so what was the plan? Is that Terrible. if there was a if there was an insurrection, you were you were supposed to be in line marching. You're in the military, you know right. this. No, that's you were supposed to have a plan. You so, exactly. You, so you, you, say, so you sit down like, overnight with your soldiers. You go right. over. All right, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go in by this side. It's, At this time, we're gonna take over this. There's none of that. If there was an insurrection, it's the sorriest insurrection in, in the, the 20th, 21st century ever. No guns. A no guy, plan. A guy People smoking, taking selfies. A guy smoking pot. Uh, uh, I love the guy smoking yeah, pot. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, well, oh, we did that. We just went to New Hampshire oh, oh, last oh, week for the guy that just was drinking beer. Oh, my favorite, wine. My favorite yeah. guy holding uh, the, the, the pew. The, the pew just oh, yeah. waving. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's oh, Florida. Oh, he's your oh, Florida guy. Yeah, yeah, Wait, oh. what's going to happen to him, Mr. Webb? He got. Uh, he, no, he He fled. He fled. I'm waiting for sentencing, right? Yeah. But what's he going to get? Probably get a few months. I don't I'm not sure if he got But he was standing next to. The shaman in the Senate. So is, is the police... The guys who the guys the elect yes. Yeah, he, he yeah, did yeah, more. So like, that's what pisses me off. These people yeah, are, are getting like... You know, they missed him, like 15, they, there was a guy that they said threw a fire extinguisher to cop. They gave him 15 yeah. days. Right. Well, that's why, that's why, why we, we, we told the prosecutor and the judge that he'll plead right now. We'll just go... You're going to be able to laugh about this one day. If I were you, I would drag it out. That's what I would do. My strategy is to drag it out. Because yeah, but my legs are about to fall off. Oh. Oh. If you can get that, if you can get that thing off, so, right. Well, right. Well, that's the then I would just wait. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Because I wouldn't. The first trials, like this, I was in Ohio with this guy who is going to trial. Um, he wants to subpoena Trump and make it like this whole per, like. Um, I, I heard about no, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. It's gonna be. They're not gonna allow that. They're not gonna. The district judge is not gonna allow that. Yes. Uh, I just want to subpoena the people who are involved with my case. For example, that officer that I gave water, the guy that interviewed me, probably uh, maybe one more person. But other than that, I want people. Can you that... find him, Officer Lopez? Yeah, let's find him. You should find him. I mean, he's... if he has a name, you can find yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Officer, Officer Lopez. Lopez. We, we found some stuff on. He's from like Coachella. California? California. From the place where the concerts happen? Yeah, yeah. That's what, yeah. yeah that's what I'll find it for you. Yeah, that's what somebody, like somebody told me. Like, oh, he's Coachella guy. And I was like, he, from the concert? They're like, no, he's from the city. The city. Like, oh. oh. So he's a so local, yeah, news did, local Coachella News did a thing about him because he got some award or something for being capital at the capital police on that day but he's the one in the video where he's offering him water and he looks kind of shell-shocked yeah that's what i was trying to he, he looks, looks, he looks okay, i'll look for him i'll yeah. look for him i've been in combat so i know that feeling his, his buddy's trying looks, to talk to him and he's like yeah he looks like, like he's out yeah he's out of it yeah. so i'm so glad that i met you because the media makes you into a monster it does and I, I mean it. when you watch it you're like let's look at clips and it's all very like and um, can I tell you a sad story? Yeah, and I'll, yeah. you, I'll let you go back to work because no, I know your time is mine. So, in the summer, I went to lunch with. Do you, do you know who Emily Hernandez is? Have you met her? She, I mean, heard of her? Okay, the girl who um, her claim to fame was she took home and put on her wall the Nancy Pelosi Office of the Speaker sign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she was one of the people oh, I wanted to get yes. to really early yes, because I was yes. like, I know that, that if I went to something like that and I took something home and put it on my wall, I know. That it, it's a memento and not a scalp. Right, right, right. I knew right, she's right, 21 right. years old. Right, right. I knew this is not right, what right. they're making it seem. Right. Mm -hmm. So I had lunch with her at her country club. And I was like, so what were you doing there? And she was like this. Well, I, I'd never left Missouri before. I mean, like, my neighbor was driving to D.C. and I'd never been out of Missouri. And I was like, I'll go to D.C. Because, like, I'd heard, like, the monuments. And, I, and I'm thinking, this girl is like... <laughs> Barely finished high school, like farm girl. Right. Works right. on a farm for what do you do for a little? I work on my family's farm. And I was like, Brand and they're work. turning her into like public enemy number yeah, one. Yeah, and she's the so, most like almost almost you almost feel sad that she's so luckily she had the lawyer and her lawyer got it down to I mean they walked in her bedroom and they saw the thing on the wall. 
right? So you think, oh, she's going to go down. She got a misdemeanor, nothing, 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 and we walk in and get probation. But on the night of the anniversary of January 6th, she got drunk in a bar. She got a DUI. Got killed a mother. Oh, she oh, did. Killed a, that's oh, right. That's her. Mother. She wrote against. And it's clear. For six yeah. months. And now I'm telling you because I know her. Yeah, yeah. What happened was when the local news starts to. You're a guy who's been in the army. Yeah. And they, they talk shit. You don't care. Yeah, like yeah, they yeah. play, oh, local, local guy. Yeah, 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 this I'm, girl didn't have the emotional strength or maturity or whatever. So when she sees her face on TV as yeah. like the January 6th oh, anniversary, she, where are they now? Yeah, yeah. The bat, the capital insurrectionists. And she's like a 21 year old farm girl. Yeah. So she, I mean, it wasn't really her, her nature, I think, to be true. Anyway, so now yeah. it's her life. She pled to a nothing charge, nothing. But because of all the attention and the focus yeah. on her and the way her neighbors treated her, the way they whispered about her yeah. in the country club, she's got... You got a DUI manslaughter. Well, they haven't charged her yet because they haven't gotten the toxicology reports about her. And I was with her on Monday and she said, I don't even remember any of it. She got, she herself got like, um, like blacked out. She was blacked out the whole time. Doesn't remember any of it. So who, who did she kill? Or? The mother. She killed an unknown person. Oh, unknown. She rode against traffic for six miles. Six miles at 60 miles an hour. And she, oh, she doesn't remember any of it. She into a car and the huh. woman who was sitting next to her husband who drove, husband in the hospital, wife died. Oh, oh my God. So it's here. It's here. I, I heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's an example of like, like if you go deep, if you're yeah. really a deep, it's like, that's an example of like oh, the kind of damage bad media. You can say like, oh, the media doesn't treat me fairly and they're full of shit. That's fine. Right. But like, it's not ruining your life. This has ruined her life. Mm-hmm. And January 6th was like a blip. Oh, no, but the attention only, from it, right, right. freak trip. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. But because it takes a lot of time, too. No, but it not, I don't mean just the, the words itself, but when you have people influence, I have people calling from Oregon that have nothing to do with my business, leaving bad reviews on my website saying, oh, insurrectionist. Mm-hmm. Or I had my secretary that's scared of going to work because she's saying. Wait, hold on, Zanny, it's not a bad thing to have. Like, it ruined my life. Or, uh, well, you got the powder, too. You got I got the powder. I had the men look like, 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 like an anthrax. I think Anne had to call out the, the cops, the chemical. Why do people. Why, it can, people are so weird. Oh, <laughs> people yeah. are so weird. And it tested huh. positive, the first test. The two, and they said times. that somebody who knows what they're doing made sure that the, the first test. It'll test positive, like a like a field test. It'll pass that until they do the actual chemical. Like it was very premeditated, it, and it had like a letter, like to a, oh proud boy. You're, I had to get washed down. Hasmat. It, re- it referenced uh, the be- oh the, the your thing's beeping thing. too loudly now. How do you like this? And I opened the, the letter. Powder, I went to work. My secretary, I thought it was a, a bill or something. And when I opened my letter, I just went like that. White powder came out, I was thinking already, all right, anthrax or something like that, who knows, crazy people. And the FBI shows up, and, and they were they were more like, it's almost like they were more interested in just searching his office. <laughs> and we were like, we didn't even trust them, because they were like using it like, oh, who is he? And then we had to get the postal inspector out there to try and like, who, it was like a jurisdictional thing. Yeah. It, was, it was a mess, total so, mess. Yeah, my employees, I have about 20 employees, they're worried too. Look, you're such an upstanding member of society. Uh, Do they talk about that in the court? No, of course not. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, uh, like I said, no, I never done nothing wrong. At the trial, they will. At, at the trial, yeah, yeah, status <laughs> hearings is very. Yeah, but they're gonna call, they're probably gonna call me a white supremacist. As a matter of fact, I, I want it in Spanish. That was my first language, so that would be fine. Interpreter, <laughs> I, I want an interpreter for my next quarter. Okay, so I want you to know that I'm from New York City, and I am was always a long time ago friends with Gavin McGinnis, who's supposedly the guy that started yeah, the Red Boys. Right. Yes. I and know. he, when you say it was a drinking club, I'm just telling you guys, I don't know what the Proud Boys is, but I know Gavin McGinnis. I went on road trips with him to parties. Mm-hmm. It was so comical to me when I first started hearing about like Proud Boys are supreme. This was like years ago when they started saying in Brooklyn, yeah, where he's from. I was like, what? This guy, I mean, he may say, he may talk shit, but... Yeah. A lot of it is like he's a provocateur. He, he is, says it yeah. to like be yeah. funny yeah. or whatever. Right. But the idea that he's now being elevated to being this, it, it makes me, yeah. it totally makes me laugh. Cause I'm like,